Hi there, a very good morning and good afternoon to all of you depending on wherever you're watching with the Simply Stocks and I'm live with another video in here and today on this Saturday uh, video I'm bringing you two companies uh, one from the mid cap space one from the small cap space that looks extremely interesting after their numbers and they have moved up but uh, let's understand about their valuations and how they are stacked up so let's get started First of all, a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation. People taking any position to any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research. I am not a member of the NSC and BSC and I am not a portfolio advisor, an official portfolio advisor. Whatever discussions I have with respect to the markets and the stocks, it is purely on educational basis and purely based on my experience as a retail investor. So whatever decisions with respect to investments you take, uh, remember that it is laden with market risk and uh, all investments into any asset class uh, has a risk of a market movement attached to it. So kindly take that on note. Before I talk about these two companies, here a small request that kindly support me on Patreon. Once you do that, help me grow the channel, help you also ask me questions, seek out answers in greater detail. Once you get the $10 membership, you'll have access to my portfolio, my watch list and number of podcasts I put up from time to time. Uh, you can get a yearly membership on WhatsApp as well or you can be a Patreon member. Uh, you have access to the portfolio analysis on different companies. A portfolio is uh, updated uh, trading. There is a trading portfolio. There is a investment portfolio as well. Discussions on global and uh, domestic markets. You have updated watch list every two to three weeks. I update my watch list and put it up there and answers to everything that you ask for. Now to analyze these two companies or to understand about them, let me take you to the screen of website. And if you look at the top, uh, the two companies that I'm going to discuss with you are Dixon Technologies and second is KDDL. Now Dixon Technologies is in my long term portfolio. I have bought it earlier. Actually, I bought it when the big crash happened at 2600 and then sold and then bought it again. Uh, I bought it in 2018 as well. So there has been a long term relationship with Dixon uh, with me. I have been, uh, you can say on a medium term basis trading into it. But now what I have done is I have set aside some money to buy into the stock from a 10, 12, 15 year perspective. I see this company doing extremely well going forward because of the kind of business that it is into. Uh, a 32,000 crore market cap company although it might seem that it's it's big and from here on in how big can it be but uh, the kind of opportunity that Dixon has this could be a, a multifold opportunity over the next decade and remember whichever stocks I discuss from now on in uh, on YouTube it's basically from a minimum 5 years perspective to 12, 15, 18 years perspective and this is a stock to a company to look at from a 12 to 15 year perspective if you want to invest probably for your child's education if you want to invest uh, for anything uh, any goal over the next 12 to 15 years invest into equity markets and invest into companies which are going to grow businesses which are going to grow this is one of them it seems like that the PE is big at 105 it seems like that the market cap has already gone up from 3000 crore to 32,000 crore etc uh, but uh, let me just give you an idea of the numbers and what my projections are and then you'll understand that whether this business is cheap or expensive and same with KDDL we'll discuss about that as well so Dixon Technologies you might all be knowing it is the largest homegrown um, uh, you can say design focused and solutions company engaged in manufacturing products in the consumer durable space, lighting space, etc. So when we uh, describe in uh, details lighting, mobile phones, smartphones, a uh, market, it is big into there. So they have diversified uh, you can say product portfolio which include consumer electronics like LED TVs. They have home appliances like washing machines. They have lighting products like LED bulbs and tube lights, down lights. They have mobile phones, smartphones, CCTV, DVRs, medical equipment, etc. Many products uh, Dixon produces, and that is why it is a one-stop. You can say uh, shop for many kind of you can say uh, products for different brands. So this is a uh, contract manufacturer for producing products say for Samsung, Xiaomi etc. They got Xiaomi phones 
orders they had a xiaomi uh, uh, televisions earlier they were making and that's how their sales have been growing yes margins are less here but the sales are growing uh, brilliantly over the years so if you look at in 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 2012 fy 12 uh, in on consolidated basis they did around 570 crores of sales and going forward over the last 10 years till fy 22 they did around 10700 crores so 20x the sales figure went up 20x operating profit from around 5 uh, crores have gone to as much as uh, 380 crores by uh, you can say fy22 in fy23 it was 500 crores so 100x operating profit growth and the company from losses came back into strong profitability so strong numbers on that front now let me just give you an idea of quarterly numbers in the september quarter so they had a dip in december when they did 2400 crores because of the chip shortage etc margins were five percent the, the you can say operating profit was 111 crores it was flattish and eventually the net profit came out to be 52 crores in december 22 and the stock fell sharply it means huge there was a huge fall in the stock price so if you see here the stock fell from around uh, levels of 4500 all the way after results in january uh, to around 2650 2700 and from there on in uh, the big move happened and the fall in the stock price corresponded to the fall in the pe from around 120 121 the pe fell to 68 69 and there i saw that the historical pe uh, was pretty big even on a five-year basis it was around 100 and now we were looking at 68 p and that's where i got in at that point of time then sold later on but uh, that's where the value emerged now how does value emerge at at these prices with a p of 105 the value emerges on the fact that the december quarter is normally the best quarter for the company because of diwali etc i think they are going to come up with no less than closer to 5500 crores or so 54 5500 crores uh, compared to last december that will be a huge jump and if you take a uh, four percent 4.2 percent margins eventually uh, the net profit in here will be closer to somewhere around 130 crores 125 crores and the eps will be somewhere around 20 rupees and a similar uh, you can say performance could be seen in march i won't say that the sales will grow even further but another 54 5500 crores of sales could be possible in march so what we are going to end up with is on a this is all projections so kindly take that on note uh this is nothing like it's going to happen or something but i'm just projecting the numbers so if i add on if i round off the numbers and add these up around 19000 crores of sales is very much possible this year so that is what i am looking at i am looking at a situation where uh, we are in a position of doing around 19000 crores of sales versus 12000 crores of sales last year based on 19000 crore sales number uh, and the market cap being around 32000 crores uh, this is looking very very interesting uh, in my opinion if if i say that fy24 they're going to do 19000 uh, so we are at a situation where uh, the market cap to sales that's what i'm trying to take it out so it's 1.7 times which is very reasonable in in that respect even now after the move 1.7 times market cap to sales and if i take on 19000 crore number i'll just do a a live analysis of how the eps will be so 20.2 into 2 for the next two quarters versus 11.5 and 18.1 so this is going to be around 70 rupees the eps will be around 70 rupees and the current stock price of the company is 5400 so we are trading at 77 78 times f524 it is trading at 78 times earnings normally on an average it is traded at 100 times so there's a good potential of 25 30 percent upside from current levels over a one year period i'm not saying immediately but over the next six months to one year 
we could see a 25 to 30 percent upside on the stock and that is why i feel that around 5200 5400 the the stock is priced very reasonably now uh, the factor in here is the thing that the next two quarters need to be good uh if they are up and down in any respect say the numbers are similar to september then the stock will fall so you can do two things probably buy some here and wait for the numbers and eventually buy more later on when the move pick up but i believe over the next 10 15 years it's going to do extremely well i don't want to put a number to it or or a price to it or uh, you can say what trajectory the growth will be but if you look at the mobile phone businesses if you look at uh led tv businesses smart television businesses etc and then led lighting all these kind of products are big time and 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 this is just begun in the indian market so you have washing machines refrigerators etc for the next 10 15 years it's going to uh grow many fold so my opinion is that uh, somebody looking for a 10 to 15 year perspective can look at this company analyze this company in terms of shareholding pattern as well when the stock fell in december quarter or something eventually in the march quarter dii's came in and bought big from 19 percent it went up to 24 percent now it is up to 27 percent uh the dii holding fi holding is around 15 15 and a half percent public share holding from around 40 percent one year back has come down to 23 percent and even in those 23 percent we have a situation where around 10 and a half percent is with uh, uh strong in, in in strong hand so you have only around 13 12 and a half percent free float in the stock so overall strong business i see decent continuous growth a good cagr growth for for the company so that's dixon technology the second stock in my list is kddl very interesting company that i found out about the company about two three weeks back so i i thought of sharing about it uh 3500 3600 crore market cap company 40 is its p it has run up there's no doubt about it that the stock has run up over the last one year or so in fact in the last uh, since july when when this big candle happened and and huge volume happened from around 1300 the stock is already more than doubled and the pe from july onwards has gone up sharply so if i see here here when around 30 the p was around 30 it is now gone to 40 so 39 40 so uh, interestingly poised and what does the company do so basically we talked we talked about ethos a few weeks back uh, which is into uh, luxury watches now this company makes uh interestingly ethos is their customer so their brand brand portfolio ethos ethos watches is india's largest chain of luxury watches and they they uh, provide products for them estima uh eigen engineering and terrafac uh, is also uh, terratech is is something where kddl manufactures watch dials uh, watch hands and uh, indexes for global watch brands like terrafx so this is a very interesting niche company that i'm going to talk about uh revenue split is precision and uh, you can say uh watch components 26 percent watch and accessories is 70 percent geographical split is 82 percent of their businesses in india 18 percent is abroad it has established you can say relationships with leading luxury watch manufacturers in the world like Swatch, Tag Heuer, uh, Gucci, Docs, etc. Very, very interesting company on declines can be looked at again from a very long term perspective. It's a very decent company to uh, look at. Uh, if you look at on a five year basis as well, the company has been listed for a while, uh, but the numbers have started picking up uh, just recently. In fact, it was listed earlier. So, uh, interestingly the stock did not do much over the last decade or so in fact it has done from around uh, 40 rupees uh, during the pandemic it fell to 100 109 but before that it went to 440 so around 440 500 and then uh, uh, the stock came down so 
from june 22 when the stock was around 630 rupees it has virtually zoomed in fact in the last few months it has really taken off so on declines can be looked at uh, the valuations have expanded but if you look at quarterly numbers it is very interesting 340 crores of sales versus 260 crores huge jump 62 crores of profit versus 23 crores a 6x jump in here 7 crores was the net profit it is now 33 crores it's going to come out with 73 74 rupees of eps uh, for the year so it's trading at under uh, uh, 40 times i agree so around 74 trading at 38 39 times uh, earnings but uh, what you need to understand is what is the growth uh, projection how 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 do you see uh, that uh, the company is going to uh, do i i think the company is going to do extremely well uh, the kind of business that it is into and going forward i think this business is only going to grow because this is into the luxury watch brand and, and you'll understand that high-end watches, high-end kind of products are selling big time. So I believe that going forward, this is going to be something extremely big and that is what the FIIs understand. Uh, public The promoter shareholding has increased from around 45% to 50%. FIIs hold around 12%. DIIs hold around 2%. Public shareholding has increased from around 24 to 38. Now you need to understand that there are large investors that are getting in. Uh, Mukul Agarwal 3.38% then 2% more. So if I calculate all of this, then this comes out to be somewhere around 8.5%. 8.5% large investors are invested and there are around 27%. You can say free float in the stock. Uh, the market cap of the company is around 3500 crores so if the sales continue to jump the way they are doing so it's going to be around uh, for the year should be around 1300 crores of sales so it's not that it's extremely expensive two and a half 2.6 time sales but on declines can be looked at it has gone up a lot so wait for some sort of a 10 15 percent decline and then from a long term point of view can be looked at So this was my video on the two stocks I wanted to uh, talk to you about in the mid and small cap uh, division. Please like and subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon so you can get my videos straight away when I post it and kindly support me on Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching.